When you're working on a photo in Photoshop, have you ever wondered where to start and what to do next? Then you're in the right place. In this short series of Adobe tutorials, we'll walk you through a no-frills, basic photo editing workflow that you can use to make your own photos look their best, even if you're new to Photoshop. It's often a good idea to start your workflow by cropping your photo to get it framed up just the way you want it before making a lot of adjustments. To crop or straighten a photo, select the Crop tool here in the Tools panel. That creates this crop boundary around the entire image. Before you adjust the crop boundary, I suggest you go up to the Options bar and uncheck Delete Cropped Pixels. That way, anything that gets cropped away won't be deleted permanently, so you can change your mind about it after the crop. Now press the Shift key on your keyboard and drag from any of the corners inward. When you hold the Shift key like that, the crop boundary changes, but it maintains the same aspect ratio of width to height as the original photo, which is a good idea if you want the crop to be the same shape as a typical photograph. If you prefer, you can drag any of the edges independently. So that sets the crop boundary. Next, you'll position the photo inside that boundary by clicking inside the boundary and dragging. Now, unless you shoot with a tripod, your photo may need some straightening. One way to fix that is to look for something you think should be straight, like the horizon in this photo. And then move your cursor just outside any of the corners of the crop boundary until it changes to a curved double pointed arrow. Then drag to rotate the image inside the crop boundary. And you can use this grid that appears as a guide to help you get things straightened up. To finish up your cropping and straightening, go up to the options bar and click the check mark, or you can just press enter or return on your keyboard. Now let's say that you save the image and you close it and you come back tomorrow. Even then you could change this crop at any time because you had unchecked delete cropped pixels. Often that's all you'll need to do to crop and straighten a photo, but there are a few other cropping options you may find helpful. Let's switch to another photo to explore those. Another way to straighten a photo is to use the automatic straighten option here in the options bar for the crop tool. I'm going to select that icon and then come into the image and I'll click and drag along part of this horizon line to straighten the horizon. And that rotates the photo for me automatically inside the crop boundary. Notice that rotating the photo created some transparent pixels around some of the edges, represented by this checkerboard pattern. If I want to include more in the photo, I can drag any of the edges to include the checkerboard area, and then go up to the options bar and check Content Aware. And that will cause Photoshop to automatically create content to match the rest of my image. It's really magical. Let's click the check mark and see how it does. One more thing you may find helpful is the ratio menu here on the left side of the options bar. If you have a particular aspect ratio to which you want to crop, for example, square or maybe eight by 10, then you can select that here and then you can change the crop boundary to make it surround just the area that you want to include, but it will always stay in that same aspect ratio. If you want to switch from a portrait orientation like this to a landscape orientation, go up to the options bar and click the double pointed arrows here, or just press X on your keyboard. And then you can reposition the photo inside the crop boundary as you like it. So that will often be the first step in your photo editing workflow, cropping and straightening your photo to frame it just the way you want it before you go on to make more adjustments.